And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. I'm Jewel, within the 30th episode of AK Blade. Just Jewel, and I'm C. Just C. And this week, it's all about the cold steel. It's not about the cold steel money, money, money. The top five cold steel folding knives, to be exact, that are yep. still available. Um, yep, similar to our Top 5 Spider Co. episode, we're going to go over several of the most popular and useful folding knives. Not in any particular order, just like last time. Um, we're going to go over specs, uh, what they're specifically used for, and of course, their low, low, low price at magknife.com. So, should we get started? I think we shall. Okay. First up on the table mm -hmm. is the Cold Steel Spartan. Love the name and the knife. This lockback weighs 9 ounces and is 10.5 inches overall with a 4.5 inch Japanese Os 10A stone wash blade. The knife has a black 6 inch Grivex handle with steel fittings mm -hmm. and it has an ambidextrous pocket clip. Ah. Finally, it's got a thumb disc for opening with some jimping. Um, this is one of Cold Steel's larger knives, and goodness knows they have lots of those. Yes. Um, I really like the handle on this one. It's different, but it also kind of reminds me of like the Rocky Mountain Train on one of the top knives. It kind of looks like this and has the same type of texture. Um, yes. I'll talk more about the upside to larger knives a little bit later because a lot of people are like, why do you want giant knives? They kind of look cartoonish. But there's there's a reason. So, Because we, we have another large one on the table, so I'll wait till we get to that one before I... Well, we didn't mention also that all these knives on the table yeah. come in three sizes. Now, they all may not be available steel. I don't think this one's there. This one's four inch and six inch. It's not a three inch one? I don't think so. I can't remember. I can't either. I have to look. Let us know if there's a three inch one yep, in the you, description below. You probably know. Yeah, they'll know. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Just want to mention a few things. All right. This knife was designed by Andrew Demko. It's one of Cold Steel's most popular mm -hmm. folding knives. Yeah. The thumb disc or thumb plate mm -hmm. can be opened with one hand. As I demonstrated mm -hmm. earlier. Or it can be caught in your pocket because of the uh, yeah the jimping and like the little divot thumb there, disc there yeah. so when it sits in the pocket wait but it wouldn't sit like that it would sit like this because of the uh, the pocket clips there but it would be closed almost like a draw yeah, yeah. like a quick, em it's like quick the em draw. it's like the Emerson wave oh okay I got you okay yeah. or if you take like a what do you call that thing? It's a zip tie mm -hmm. and put it on top of a spider code. You can open it as you pull it out your pocket. Wow. It would be done in a manner where like it would be like this. You can make a shiv out of a toothbrush in the clink. Shiv out of a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> I would never put... I would never oh, do you want that, that back? There you go. Okay, great. I always give a knife to someone open. <laughs> open their hearts. Really. Um, up next it's going to be the Cold Steel Tie Light. So you can close that back. Another one of our, I guess, I more unique really? folders Cold Steel has introduced. Accentuate there with the sound. I know that you really like this knife. I do like this one. Um, it, it, it is one of those unique folders, and I think the Tie Light series was like a big move for Cold Steel, in my opinion. It, I mean, it was a while ago, but I still can't get over it. I mean, I've seen the demonstration of this knife. And it's, you know, it's relatives, you know, the, the longer one, maybe the, the smaller one. I don't remember there being a smaller one, but there could be. And, wow. When I saw the demonstration by Lynn Thompson, I was like, wow. It was a little excessive, but you, you got what you could do with the knife. Mm. See, I, I like the knife also, but when it comes to a knife like that, I am more po partial to the holdout. I, gotcha. I think you probably remember it. Do you remember the 11HXLS? It was about that long. I mean, it was ridiculous I to hold in so. your hand, but that was a similar knife. It had a thin blade on it, yeah. but they don't make it anymore. So, wah, you know, wah, yeah. Wah. But this version uh, mm -hmm. rivals the more expensive counterpart. Parts, yeah. It has a 43% glass-filled Zyx 
for the handle instead of the 7075 aluminum. While the blade is Japanese OS 8 steel, which mm -hmm. a lot of them used to be in. Yeah. Instead of the American XHP. P steel. Yeah, that's what the, the more expensive is. However, mm -hmm. it is just com unbelievably sharp, Boop. robust, and I mean, it's a good looking like stiletto yeah. style carry. Um, the style actually kind of reminds me of the the 1950s like switchblades. Um, though this one, not a switchblade. No. Not. It's Disclaimer not. running down the bottom. Not a switch blade. <laughs> First, I don't think you can have one in our state. Mm -hmm. I know you can't. And two, you're just not bad enough to have one. Really? <laughs> um, this liner lock uh, is okay to carry almost everywhere. I mean, it does have a four inch blade, so California. They don't. Here you don't come. However, uh, the spear point blade is sub-zero uh, quench steel um, with a satin finish. It also has a false top edge here, uh, a thumb stud, uh, a Baleo style false top grind, I'm guessing because that's the thick and then it goes thinner, um, the stainless steel liners because it's a liner lock, and finally it has the leaf spring mm -hmm. lock. I'm a fan of the cutout look. Yeah. On this knife. It's, I've uh, seen it on a few Smith and Weston. Well, the holdout knives, also had the cutout cut holes. holes. Three too. of them. Yeah. As it, or four of them on the large one. I like the I like the cutout style too. I mean usually I like more color, but I, I like this knife. And you know, you guys thought the other knives can take a beating. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to bring it up again. Lynn Thompson when he does the video, he is like just stabbing this what what did you, what did you call it earlier? It was the uh, the skeleton thing that oozes blood. Oh, like, the ballistic. Uh, like, you, like, like gel. you really need that, but when he was do, it was just cool. And Joel he was found it very. He was impressive. cutting cutting rope that was like six inches. I mean, not like you're ever gonna have to do that with a knife. Cut rope that's like six inches wide, but you could do it because he showed you you could do it with this knife. So I mean, it's pretty freaking intense. This tactical <laughs> carry is also lightweight. Comes in at about what, probably four, four ounces? ounces? Yeah. Um, the blade is four inches alone, um, while the handle is 4.75, I believe, making this knife uh, over eight inches long. It's also got a tip up stainless pocket clip for belt and pack carry. Um, also, some jimping on the flipper studs here on the top and the bottom one. Um, I see this more as a self defense tool. I mean, I don't really see me personally like going out cutting things with it. I'm just going to carry it around in case someone comes at me and I'll be like, back up. I think you could use it for both. And like maybe prying things open because he was, he pried things open. I know you're not supposed to do that with knives, but he said because of the, the longer the blade and longer gave the handle, leverage. it gave you, yeah, mm -hmm. so it wouldn't break. And he was testing the, the, the locking system to show you how it won't fail. Even if you like stand on it, he had some some dude standing on it in wood. I mean, come on. So pry like a lock trunk or a door to a mansion or a nailed shut mummy case. No, this isn't tales from the dark side, okay? But maybe we should move on because I could probably talk about this blade all day. Mm, if we There's don't, just so much to it. It's gonna be a 75 minute. Uh, and all things cold steel demonstration you can do with it. There's just there's just endless possibilities. I mean, it is just one of the tools to have. Before we get to the next blade, make sure to click, 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 click. up on the rooftop, <laughs> the like and subscribe buttons. And the notification bell. Once again, the notification bell, the subscribe buttons, share, put it on wherever. To maintain a constant Blow connection. Up your mama's phone. Yeah, tell her about it. She might be enjoying it. To your best and most handsome knife source, me. And Atlantic Knife. Don't forget that. I'll even throw in a .com for free. Wow. We post qu quick minute previews, uh, five minute knife reviews, and of course our weekly show. So make sure you guys stay tuned in. Uh, not to mention we are always having like giveaways or sales, sales specials and like our free stuff month. I think we've been giving away, like, if you buy on our website, we've been giving away, like, Kaiser bracelets. Oh, we almost or... give everybody something for free. Yeah, I know. And, like, uh, we had some Wii and some BB stickers. Mm -hmm. some patches. So, yeah. If they give us something for free. We pass it on. Yeah, we don't want that stuff. Now, knives, you never go see them. 
<laughs> no, free knives that we like to keep. Actually, we get too many free knives too, so. Okay. We give those away also. <laughs> and uh, you guys got to make sure we check out our website, AtlantaKnife.com, and our blog for all those opportunities. So links are in the description below. Okay, next knife. Whoop. As you guys have seen, it's one from my collection. I don't think this is mine, but. It's not. It's the extra large Vaquero Voyager. This one had to make the top five because not only is it popular. Yeah, make sure you lean away. On, lean away. On. There you go. It's a really great EDC to have. I think we've actually done this one maybe like a few times. It's the XL Vaquero Voyager. So I'm just going to go over the specs just real quick. It has a black Grivex handle with finger choil, uh, a stone washed 5.25 inch, yes, that's five and a quarter inches, CTS BD1 alloy blade with dual thumb studs for opening. Uh, it's got the triad lock and finally a reversible pocket clip and lanyard hole. There is also mm -hmm. a serrated version of this one. There is. And smaller ones. Um, it actually reminds me greatly of the Cold Steel Espada, mainly because of the size and shape of I mean, it's it's about this long. It might be a little longer. Yeah, I think the Espada is a little bit longer. But yeah. the thing, thing I have with this one yeah. is that you can use it. I don't. I wouldn't feel comfortable mm -hmm. using an Espada. First, it has mirror blades. Mm -hmm. It almost reminds me, if you had an Espada, you have to have two like the pearl handled handguns they would pull out. At the, yeah, yeah, like cross and pull at the but same But see, this thing's like what? sixty four ninety eight. Uh-huh. On a land knife. And an spot is a uh, 170 bucks. Yeah, exactly. True. And speaking of the extra large for we also have the large Voyager um, with us, which has also made the top five. Um, though we're counting it we just with, count Voyager. with this one, yeah, because the same series. Even though you can look at this and be like, this is two totally different knives. I know. It is, but it's it is. not still at the same time. Handles the same, but other than that, type of stone style. wash. Yeah. This Voyager mm -hmm. is a bit different in size. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to the Voyagers, I like the extra large mm -hmm. in the Vaquero, but I like the large mm -hmm. in the, the Tonto style. Yes. I like it's the got Tonto a, cut, too. Yeah, I do also. It's got an OS 10A steel blade. Upgraded from the old OS-8 it used to have. Mm -hmm. Instead of the CTS BD-1 the, alloy. The larger one. Mm -hmm. It's also a Tonto cut style, which we saying, mentioned. Yeah. However, both are lockbox. Mm -hmm. Both have stone wash uh, finish on the blade. And the Grivex handles. Lanyard holes and dual thumb dual studs. Thumb studs. Um, they all have the triad lock, too. Oh, I'm triads. Which is arguably probably the strongest, most reliable, but low maintenance locking mechanism of all time. I mean, that's what he says. That's what he says. And I like the, the large one better. It's just more realistic size for me. I mean, personally, this one I'm probably going to use for display. I mean, to, I be, if I, to be honest, it would I would use it to display. I like the large one for use. I, not on this one. Though. Just I the mean, large. Although not the extra there large. are a lot of advantages to larger blades. Look, that Vaquero over there fits my hand, just like that Spartan. Like, he come over and said, let me see your hand. I said, well, here it is, Lynn. He said, we're going to make a knife out of this hand. And it fits in it just like it was made for me. So, you know, that's why I like that one better. Um, I mean, with larger knife, you're, you're going to have more chopping and cutting power. Just because the blade is, is longer and the knife is a bit heavier. Um, they, they say that the smaller version of this knife, uh, like the one of the T-Lite or the Voyager, as we said, are just, they're, they're smaller folders. So they're not going to be able to handle as much. It also gives you more leverage. More, as Lynn Thompson would say, grappling power. <laughs> you know, if you get into a situation where you're fighting someone, either like for practice or for real, though, but that, that doesn't happen too often. Yeah, you're both going to have your blades against one another, try not to lose ground because you'll get cut. Mm -hmm. And you just can't do that with a rinky dinky like two inch blade knife. You just you just can't. There's just no way you're gonna be able to grapple with Yeah, a small try that knife. with your paramilitary too. <laughs> really? <laughs> I had to. Yes, and not to mention a large knife allows uh more prying power. True. Which you're not supposed to do with your knife. Hey. Not just chopping. He shows and you prying power. I know. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. Just don't exactly. do it with nails. Don't do it with nails. 
you know, for... I wouldn't do it for nails. I'd do it for, like, like a wooden box that's, like, nailed shut. Cutting power, rope, you know, yeah. par paracord. That stuff cuts it, no problem. Not exactly. to mention, if you hunt, mm -hmm. you can skin a much larger carcass. Mm -hmm. Carcass. Yeah. I wanted to toss that in there. Okay. With this, then you can a smaller knife. I True. Mean, he said he... Hold on. He had this tiny knife. He's like, I can, I can skin a mouse, some type of mouse with this. It's like, and that works pretty good, but I can't skin an elephant with it. I'm like... Really, Lynn Thompson, nothing. when have you ever skinned an elephant? And can you skin, skin an elephant? I've seen He's never eaten a mouse. <laughs> Did you just make that up? No, he said that. Okay. okay. Uh, a saying that reminds me of is that all squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. And in this instance, large knives can do all the things that small knives can, but not all small knives can do what large knives can. Except for the one flaw, you know, small knives. Lighter easier to carry. Now you made that up. No. I just paraphrased Lynn Thompson. Oh. Well, hey, you. You better give credit where credit is due. Oh my gosh. Okay. Up next. You know it's coming, don't you? Probably, yeah. <clears throat> it's the cold steel. Proves you can't conceal Wild a West. Knife. Bowie. Look, that, that's not on the list. Hey. I can check. It's not on the list. It's not on there. Have you met its friends? Franklin, Grant, and Jackson. It could get you into any club. You might be leaving in cuffs, but you got in and party for a while. Hold on a second. Wow. All right. Yeah, that still was not on the roster. Okay. What are we racing cars here? I mean, I, I know. We were, I, would be, I just thought it deserved a special guest appearance. I mean, this is a great knife. This is Jules knife. Okay, yes, I know it's a great blade. Okay, and well worth the ninety-five ninety-nine on AtlanticKnife.com. That was scripted. However, <laughs> <laughs> we need to get back to the real top. You know, folders. The knife, Cold Steel Wild West Bowie, is is not a folder. It's fixed blade. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I was going to say before Jewel decided to go off script. Was I'm the one who went off script, yeah. The next knife is our number one knife. The Cold Steel Recon One. Okay, this one's another one from C's collection. However, I like it, but I like the little Cold Steel Micro Recon One. I like Better. them both. Yeah, we know. It's in your collection. We've already determined this. Gosh. Can't beat a recon. I'm going to double team them right here. All right. It's true. Uh, I'm biased. Uh, we know. But this is unbelievably popular knife. I know it's... And no. for good reason. Okay. You, I would I put know this right. up against the paramilitary you're too. Right. <laughs> it, you're right. It's actually a popular knife with, you know, like military and law enforcement personnel, uh, fire and rescue crews, and regular everyday everyday people like yourself. I'm an everyday person? Regular. Yeah. I'm, regular. I'm extraordinary. <laughs> Extra. This knife, Just for me. along with it having a mm -hmm. reputation for reliability, and strength also features the renowned, excuse me, the world renowned, renowned. Yeah. triad locking system, which keeps your finger safe mm -hmm. when you're using your blade, even in the most trying of conditions. All right, wow. We couldn't ding. tell you were being sarcastic there and some ting, really? Some little ding. Uh, yeah, you're not getting it. Mm. This knife features a Japanese Os 8A <laughs> spear point tough X coated blade along with a black Cryvex handle. It also has a slimline medium textured USA G10 which gives you a, a lighter knife for every day to day experience. Uh, less weight is always a plus especially if you have like a pack with things like a cooking kit, one of those like snug pack sleeping bags and mm -hmm. things like fishing gear and hunting tools. I mean you need something lighter. It's just going to contribute more weight. So, so true. And any tool that can lend a helping hand while still keeping the weight down is always good. Mm -hmm. We should do a uh, a video on what you should have in your pack. Oh my gosh, we should. I'd may, I'd put one of those little like SE notebooks in there. You know, the weatherproof ones. That would be one of the first. You would also there. put uh, powdered donuts. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, I wouldn't. The staple. 
of every hiker's diet. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, that's granola you, bars. You told that's me. multi -green Look, you told me bars. you brought them because if a bear chased you, you could throw it at him and it would roll. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something I would say. I wouldn't bring, like, meat to throw at him. She knows that bears I'd be love donuts. I'd be bringing bacon. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows if a bear's chasing you, you're throwing bacon at it. He's stopping. He ain't going to chase you no more. Mm -mm. And we could put a pin in that idea, you know, the, the pack idea. Mm -hmm. Just a little sticky note right up there, okay? Let's get to some specs before we spiral out of my muck again, okay? Hey, what did I tell you about the office? I don't recall. Uh, this <laughs> knife is 4 3 eight inches overall and weighs only one ounce. While the blade is just two inches long. It's got dual thumb studs for opening. Uh, a lanyard or... Pause for dramatic effect. A keyhole in this case, you know, for easy on the go attachment. Uh, finally, this knife is a lockback. Wow, this is a real tactical folder. Mm, I mean, Cole Steel had it right when they called it their sturdy little workhorse. It is, it's I mean, so cute. Oh, yeah, it's a nice little knife. It could take a lot too. And for only $19.84 on AtlanticKnife.com, you can have your own cold steel. Micro Recon 1. That's really inexpensive. I know. Isn't it though? I mean, I was reading it earlier because you guys already know this is scripted. Okay. Some of it, some of it is, some of it isn't. We kind of do our own thing. I was reading it and I said, is this right? And I asked them and they said, yeah, it's only like 1984. And I was like, are you sure? They're like, yes, well, that's it. Don't ask again. For a keychain folder, the one that immediately comes to mind has been so popular lately. Yeah. Is the Bastion Braza. The Braza Little Mini bro. Cleaver. Yeah. It's 40 bucks. I know. And now, I mean, it's D2. Steel. But it's cold True. steel and Aust Aust 8 or Aust 10. Aust 10 on that, isn't it? Yeah, it's Aust 10. I can't remember. So, Aust 10. You know, I mean, yeah. for a keychain, 20 bucks. Exactly. Cold steel. I mean, why would you buy a Victorinox or whatever you want to call them things? It's so, this is so much cuter. All right. And up that next. does leave us with the final knife. Number two. See, I got to label them. I like the Raja. Not, I don't think it's number two. No, 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 I have to agree with you. Oh, thanks. This one, number one, and then no, number no, no, no. Two the Recon is number one. Would be the Spartan. No. Spart Spartan is two. I'll give you that. All right, here is Thank your you. Raja. Uh huh. But I will tell Raja you, Raja the third. I had a Raja with the uh, the last one with Os eight and a serrated blade. Uh huh. It was number two. They don't make it anymore. Yeah. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Go on. This knife was also designed by Andrew Demko. I think Andrew Demko knows what he's doing. Yeah. And I have to say, he never, he never disappoints. Nope. Exactly. I completely agree. I've always admired Cold Steel's ability to create and demonstrate sturdy, like ready to be put to the test kind of blades. I mean, all their knives have like the Cold Steel look, but they're still like unique by themselves. Except for one. Except for one. Kudu. Wow. And this knife isn't any. I had to bring it up. Okay. It's the only thing in their lineup, and I was like, ooh. What's that for? <laughs> go, go on. And this knife isn't any different. Mm -hmm. Unique. It has a stone wash finished, three and a half inch Japanese Aus 10A steel blade, mm -hmm. while the handle, which is close to about, what, five, five inches long, yeah. is made of black Gravex. It's also got a lanyard hole, a black uh, ambidextrous pocket clip. You could turn around, flip it around, whatever. Um, it weighs only 5.1 ounces. Oh. Uh, lastly, it has a thumb disc or thumb plate, as Cold Steel likes to call it, uh, with some jimping on the sides, you know, for easy one hand open. You can, you might be able to do the, the uh, quick action from the pocket on this one. I'm not yeah. sure. Probably, because it's got the little divot there, mm -hmm. too. So. Well, I mean, this knife is very similar to a Kukri. Mm -hmm. It has its thin, flat ground edges, which are able to make deep cuts that knives of similar size and weight just can't. Exactly. Uh, this handle is also similar to the shape and contour of uh, like a, a kukri. kukri. Yeah. yeah. I mean, however, mm -hmm. it is much more convenient Tool. and you're able to carry it around in your pocket. Unlike a kukri. <laughs> I can't carry no kukri. On Condor kukri. For only 68.84 at... You're just happy to see me. Oh, uh, you just come up with another t-shirt idea. That's no. 11 of them. Is that a kukri in your pocket or are you happy to see me? Who would not buy 
I mean, you know, we gotta get this going. Okay, finally, this knife is also equipped with Cold Steel's triad locking mechanism as well, which has proven to be strong and shock resistant. Sometimes I feel like we should like start our own Mythbusters episode when we say things like that. Ooh, I have no problem blowing it's up just... stuff, throwing things through glass, warming up the old flamethrower. Oh my god, you don't have a flamethrower. A propane tank. That's no, all you need you right there. I always gotta crush my dream. Oh, your dream is done. Here comes there. Just Jewel with the cold, dark, sometimes beanie baby infused splash of reality. How was that? Did you get some kind of yes, kick out of that? Yes, of being the reasonable, you know, level headed one? Yes. It's called I Don't Let Sidekicks Handle Deadly Weaponry. That's just smart sense. Well, then you're gonna have to steal my knife Thank collection, you. raid my desk, cut my. Hands off. Oh, deadly weapon. Break the Go combination ahead. lock on my bed safe in order to keep that from happening. You have a bed safe? Left and right. I have children. Got to have safe. Can't keep loaded weapons but a, but next a to bed your bed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't know everything about me. Oh, okay, well, nor would I want to at this point. And fine, you know what? You can have a flamethrower, but you're going to be the test dummy mm -hmm. in the uh, crashing into walls part. You like to renegotiate as you go along, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. You know what? You can avoid all walls and obstacles by shopping and following. Atlantic Knife. Atlantic Knife. Yeah. We make it easy for you to find any product you're looking for at low prices with free shipping. Free. Not 40. Free shipping. Not 49 bucks in free shipping. No, not, not you spend this weekend. And free we'll shipping. And we'll send it in the mail on a real small little Actually truck. Actually pay handling fees. I'm yeah. so pissed. Don't so, buy two Protex and a Microtech so, and we'll give you a thought of free shipping. No? I'm so tired of this whole, if you spend $35 or more, you get free shipping. Are you mm. kidding me? That's not a deal. That's not a deal. Okay? Yeah, me give you more money and, and you've you'll get me my product. Wow. Which you should be doing anyway. Thank you. Yes. We offer free shipping. Every day. All day. Every day of the week. Twice on Sunday. Yep. Maybe. <laughs> we also provide you with info, and reviews about knives and gear. Um, if we don't have a review on it, then it doesn't exist. Me does not exist in this dojo. Does it? No, sense. Uh, Though the show is over, the posting never stops here at Atlantic Knife. Find us on Facebook. I tried to do the pop. It didn't work. I'll Pinterest. It. I'll just leave it to the editor. Pinterest, YouTube, obviously, and even on Reddit. Doing. Yes, we are hip now. We're also on our blog, and of course, as always, we are on no Instagram. I need my my tri light. He stabs at the table in one of the things too. He just stabs a table over and over. It's like a granite table. You can hear the noise. No, no. It's already out and gone left. No. Can we flip it? No, we can't and reverse flip it. it. Oh my gosh. All no. right. <sighs> you know what? Hmm? I just remembered something. Hmm? The party doesn't start till we pop in or swipe in. However, you can find our reviews, updates on sales and specials, and of course, us on our website, Atlanta Knife. Dot com. Uh, links to these are always in the description below, along with links to all the knives we've mentioned. Also, don't forget to comment. Please comment. We love to hear from you guys, whether it's praise, questions, or mindless chit-chat. Something which Jewel is familiar with. Uh, receiving praise and answering important questions? Of course I am. Thank you for the recognition, C. As always. I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel, and we are signing off.